is time for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service. If you think someone's cheating on you, send us a story. Ryan at KissFM.com via email. We'll see if you want to go on the air. This is uh, from Ava in Upland. She says, my husband recently asked for a separation, and I'm not sure what to think. He temporarily moved out, but beyond some arguing, no more than I think is normal for a married couple. I'm not sure what else is wrong unless he's cheating on me, and that's what instigated this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I need to know if that's the case because if he is cheating on me, it's totally over. If he's not, I want to fight to keep us together. I want to make it work, so I need you guys to find out what's going on. Ava, this is clean. This is clear to me. Um, you think that he's forcing the separation because he met somebody else. Yeah, because it was his idea to get separated and to move out. And I just, I need to know because if he has met somebody else, then I want to be done too. You know, then I can move on. So I just need to know. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes total sense. Um, all right. So do you guys have any kids? Yeah, we have two kids. How long have you been together? Um, we've been married for nine years. Uh, we've only been separated for a couple months, but I mean, I don't know if maybe he met somebody and that was the catalyst, you know? What if you met somebody after you split up? <sighs> if he did, then he's not a cheater, but he still wants out. And I would rather know. I mean,. Were you blindsided by this? I mean, uh, he has been withdrawn lately, and I know something's been up, but I just never thought after all these years and, you know, raising kids together that... It would end this way or be this way. Yeah, I thought maybe he needs a break. I I don't know. It's so confusing. Hold on for one second, because I think we should just call him and find out. Look, here's the deal on this type of thing. I think... uh, if there's one person that's checked out and they've already mentally gone there, it's almost impossible to bring them back. If their mind is set on, on being somewhere else or not being in it, it's so hard to change them. Mm-hmm. So you got to have double buy-in to yeah. make something like this work. Ava, uh, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then whatever your husband's name is, on KISS FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. All right, here we go. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Rick? Uh, speaking. Hi, Rick. My name is Jolie. I'm actually calling from Unique Flowers. How are you this morning? I'm, I'm good. How are you? Hi, I'm a new flower shop in town, and I just wanted to call because I uh, let you know that you received a free dozen roses today, and you can actually send them to whoever you want. We're doing a, a new promotion to uh, promote our new business here. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's actually a really good business strategy but i really don't have uh anyone to send it to sorry oh are you sure i mean you can i mean send them to anybody honestly there's not one person they're completely free Um, i would hate for it to have them go to waste no i shouldn't there is nobody really okay um i just gotta ask are you are you sure there's really nobody you can you can send them to yourself if you want and then you can decide later who you want to send them to you want to maybe do that or is there any name? Um, you know what? Uh, you could send them to someone named Ava. Ava. Okay. And yeah. then would you like to write anything on the note? Um, sure. How about, um, hope this brightens your day. Hope this That's brightens sweet. your day. Hey, Rick, day. it's Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that. That is Sissini, who's also on the radio here. Hi. And your wife, Ava, what? is on the line. She asked Thank us to God. give you a call. Like, I'm, I'm so relieved, you understand. I'm, I'm so glad that you sent them to me. This, I, I want to fight for us. I want this. Uh, this is such good news. I, I'm so relieved. Hey, Rick, no. your your wife asked us to call you because she's concerned that the reason you wanted to have the separation is because you met somebody else before the separation. Was that the case? No, no, there's there's nobody else, but see, that's why I didn't it's a lot to process. What? That's why I wasn't sending What's flowers. Wrong? Because I don't... I don't want you to be sad. Like, I want you to be happy, but 
uh, I'm not seeing anybody else, but I'm not feeling us anymore either. Like, what? so what's the reason that the spark is gone, Rick? If it's not another woman, what happened here? I don't know. I feel like we just kind of grew apart. It's like there's no ill will, but there's just no spark whatsoever. It's just not working but out. You know, there's ebb and flow in a long term relationship. Yeah. You're together nine years. You've got two kids. Isn't it worth fighting for? You know, I've been. I've been trying to fight for it for a long time, and honestly, at some point, you just got to be truthful and honest to yourself when it's just not you and it's not making you happy anymore. I, I just don't think it's healthy. But Ava, do you feel like that. he's been fighting for it? I mean, I feel like he gave up. I mean, he, I feel like I'm the one that's fighting for it. And remember, really? listen, Rick, yeah. this is, uh, look, obviously, you got to have peace and happiness and harmony, but there are kids here, right? There's a couple of kids involved. This is a long time together. This is a very serious statement that you're making, especially if in an opportunity like this, there is no one else, and you're saying, I still don't want to make it work. Ryan, I have I've really thought about the kids a lot. Like They're the sole reason why I was still fighting for it. Um, oh, my God. And I want nothing more but for them to be happy and have normal childhoods. But Riley's eight years old. I mean, Emily's well, only six. To... But I mean, Riley knows better. He knows that you're not here, and you, you left. I mean, can't we just take some time and work on it? I, I feel like you're just giving up. I mean, I feel nine like years. we've been giving time, though. How much? How much can we like beat a dead horse? You know what I mean? Like. How much longer do we keep being dishonest to each other? It's just not working out anymore. Well, 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 no one needs to be dishonest, but I think everybody needs to communicate. And that's what sounds like is not happening here because Ava is in the dark mm -hmm. about why yeah. you're at this place. So perhaps at least you can make some progress by sitting together, speaking face to face about truly where you are and why you feel the way you feel. Yeah. It's hard to do and it's not fun to do, but it sounds like that's the place right. where you are and that's what you guys need to do. Otherwise, everybody's in this guessing game thing. Yeah, maybe consider you know? counseling as well. That's an option. So can I we... I mean, I would love that. Can, can we leave it at that, that you guys will start to communicate about why you're here, regardless of which way you need to go? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to put you both on hold for one second. Good luck to you guys. The good news is I could really genuinely feel like he didn't want to send them to anybody else. And uh -huh. the person that he wanted to make sure felt okay was his wife, even though he's in a strange place.